Hello, it's Lady Bill Bannon coming to my car in the great state of Texas. I am still going. I am coming back from a grocery trip. Hopefully, I won't have to go back for another couple of days until it's Thursday. Hopefully, through the end of the week, we'll see. I just got a couple of extra supplies. Uh, hopefully, you can hear me because the rain is just coming down right now. You know, they predicted some really severe weather yesterday, but it was just really a thunderstorm. This is more severe weather with the wind blowing a little harder than normal. So, yeah, the w rain is whipping around, as you can see in the background there. Oh, well, maybe you can't, can't, can't see it. You can at least see the rain. Also, but. Yeah, so today is story time. So, I knew things were too quiet <laughs> on my friend. So the other day I got a maybe day before yesterday, two, three days ago, whatever. A couple days ago, um, I went to my email as I normally do just to make sure I don't miss any important communications. And I saw a email notification from uh, in one of my um, older accounts that said that a Emerald card was trying to be added to a new account. So the Emerald card is something that's associated with H&R Block. Now, I did my taxes with another service for the last two years. So um, I thought in my head, well, there's no reason for me to be receiving something about a card uh, from H&R Block. Now, I don't know if it was, at the time, I didn't know if it was something that was trying to, that that was automatically generated because I was owed some money that was offset from my ex-husband's stimulus payment or what. So I went into my account and I saw that his information had been updated on there. And the preferred email address was his email, but the, re the account recovery email was one of my older emails. So I was like, that's weird. So, I went looking at the tax documents, and lo and behold, the ex-husband and his current wife had filed taxes back on February the 5th of this year. So, I was thinking to myself, why is it that his taxes were filed underneath this account? I, I don't think that he should want to keep his personal information underneath an old account that he would have access to, but I don't think he was even thinking about that. He probably just gave his social and his email address, and maybe they found his name, of course, and with some other identifying information, I guess they found it in the system and, and just filed his taxes. Now, I don't know if it was discussed that a new account was to be created for him, but I know that when I, uh, when I filed uh, my taxes, I created a completely new account. If I were to use H&R Block, I would have created a completely new account so that my individual information wouldn't be, or couldn't be accessed by the ex-husband. Now, uh, I was on hold for two hours at H&R Block. That brings a call for a technical report for the website. And they couldn't really give me a definitive answer. They just told me that I could, you know, basically delete the account or I think, or he could create a new account, you know, whatever was easier. And I'm thinking, well, I'm not going to give up my information, you know, my old information that I might need access to just so the ex-husband can set a card, you know, set up a card or whatever. I don't know what, what's really going on. But anyway... I milled over my head and I decided to reach out to the ex-husband and let him know, hey, you know, talk to your tax preparer and make sure that they are filing your tax underneath your old account because I can see your your tax return that you did <laughs> for last year. And uh, all in, in, in addition to all this information. So he said that he was going to get on top of it the following morning. Well, a whole day goes by. I don't hear anything back from him, but I do see these email notes vacations have come through since um, telling me that a car was trying to be added to the account. Now, I let the ex-husband know that I was receiving security codes. I would gladly give those to him if he needed 
that to, you know, get the card going if he had the physical card with him or whatever. Um, but, um, <laughs> he had to let me go within 20 minutes because the code expired in 20 minutes. But again, he said that he had a handle on it. Well, he didn't. He's, um, you know, I let him know, you know, the second time I got, you know, an additional email that, you know, the, the account recovery email was one of mine and I was not going to relinquish access to the account, but I was glad to help him. But he said he would let me know if he needed my help. So, you know, I feel like I'm going above and beyond, but I don't want to be accused by him or the new supply for trying to hack into their account. No, no, honey. No, sir. I'm not hacking into your account. It's an account that I have, have access to. It's a username that I created. And uh, I have a right to have access to information that includes me. So, you know, it's not my fault. You know, you didn't bother to open up a new account, create a new account on your phone, you know, with an app. I mean, it's just too easy to do that, but I don't know. I guess lack of sleep um, doesn't have him thinking too clearly. Ugh. But anyway, so I've tried to reach out, you know, to Novell. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> and so, I mean, hopefully they figure it out. You know, I don't know if they need to move information from my account to another one, you know, I don't know, they're not going to be able to use their card, or not able to activate it from the account that it's attached to, I mean, it, it's, it's a mess, but, you know, it's kind of funny, because, I, <laughs> no, let, let's just say, the ex-husband is, is not being very honest, let's just say that, he's not being very honest, but, you know, that's his business, that's his life. Oh, not going to impact me. It's just going to impact him and his uh, oblivious new supply wife. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, that's that's the latest update. You know, narcs will narc. Or I should say suspected narcs will narc. I can't diagnose anybody, but, you know. Uh, I know what I know. And, uh, and I've seen some things. Things that we believe that the ex husband is possibly narcissistic. Something's not right with him. But anyway, hopefully I can go relax at home. <sighs> it's a really rainy day so far, and I have some cinnamon rolls I can bake, so I'm looking forward to all that. I hope you guys are out there staying healthy. And I wanted to ask you guys. Um, do you know what happened to Sarah Speaks? Her YouTube channel is completely scrubbed. It's like she doesn't exist. I tried looking her up on the internet, and, you know, all I get are, like, some redirects to some, you know, info farm websites. So, I don't know what happened to her. If you guys know what happened to her, you know, let me know. I want to follow her. You know, I know she's supposed to start a new journey you know, and, you know, change the direction of her YouTube channel, but it just got outright deleted. I've been wondering ever since what happened, so I hope she's all right. Girl, um, I hope you're all right, and I just want to give a shout out to Trey's face, I love, uh, that channel, you know, her energy is so light and positive, and I really appreciate it. You know, we do have some different stances on things, but by and large, I do agree with what she has to say, and again, she is a light, so yeah, you should check out that channel, I'll go ahead and link it in my description box, and I'll talk to you guys soon, if you like this, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, subscribe, keep up with me, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos, this has been Lady Bo Bannon, and I'm out!